In this section, we want to introduce our first hypothesis test. We want to test a claim about a proportion from one sample. Uh, we're going to slowly walk through an initial example where we talk about how we actually set up the test, the pieces we need to have in place, and then we'll move on to interpreting our results um, to get that final and complete answer. So we need, always need to start with setting up our test. Before we conduct any test, we first need to establish our hypotheses. So we're always going to have a null hypothesis, H0, and an alternative hypothesis, HA. We need to identify <clears throat> excuse me, the parameter to be tested. So we need to know if we're testing a claim about a proportion, if we should be testing a claim about a mean or a median. Once we know which parameter we're testing, then we need to verify the conditions. In order to test a claim about a population proportion, what we're going to need is a sample that's random and independent. We'll need a sample that's large enough to expect both 10 successes and 10 failures. And we need sampling that occurs without replacement. or a population that's 10 times, larger, as 10 times as large as our sample. And then our last assumption, or our last condition, is going to be the assumption that the null hypothesis, H0, is true. So we're going to assume that conditions 1 and 3 are met, since those can be difficult to verify if we don't know how a study was conducted, how information was uh, collected which is going to leave us with conditions 2 and 4 to verify. There's nothing we really need to verify for condition 4. It's just something really to keep in mind, the assumption that that null hypothesis is true. But we will need to verify that we have at least 10 successes and 10 failures. So in our first example, the 2012 Summer Olympic Games, 85 countries competed. Of the countries that competed, 51 at least won gold medal. Can we say the majority of countries who compete in the Summer Olympic Games will win at least one gold medal? So the first thing we need to do is identify the claim, which in this case is the majority of countries who compete will win at least one gold medal. So if we're talking about majority, we're talking about a proportion. And majority means something larger than 50%. So our claim is that the actual population proportion is larger than 50%. The negation of that would be that P is something less than or equal to 50%. So we take our statement with no equality. That becomes our alternative hypothesis. And the null hypothesis is exactly the same thing as the alternative, but rewritten with an equal statement. And then we can identify which of those statements is our claim. So I just like to leave that there as a note to myself so that when I get to the end, I'm writing my concluding statements, it's going to be easier to determine whether the claim was supported or not supported. So we have our null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. The other thing we need to verify is that we have a large enough number of successes and failures. So in this case, 50 countries won at least one gold medal. So we have 50 successes. And out of the total of 85 countries who competed, that means 85 minus 50, or 35 countries who didn't win a gold medal. We have 35 failures. So the conditions are met. To test a claim about a proportion. So keep in mind, this is just our setup for the problem. Once we have this, then we can actually go ahead and test our claim, generate a p-value, and start drawing some conclusions. 
but before we get to any of those steps, these pieces need to be completed. And the other thing just to point out here is that we do have our significance level already provided for us. We're going to be testing this claim with a significance level of 0 0.1.